Hey everybody, it's Timo here. In today's video, we're gonna play on the most broken S tier class in Dark and Darker, which is Fighter. Fighter is arguably the strongest class because of this build in particular. Now, before we got to the build, I want to remind you only 3.7% of people who are watching my channel has subscribed and the rest didn't. If you can consider to press subscribe button, I'd really, really appreciate it. I post every single day. I post a barb, a rogue, and as you can see, some fighter content. But usually, I'm just gonna be mainly focusing on a barb. I'm a barb main, and I absolutely love playing that class. But anyway, let's go back into this video. In today's video, we're gonna play on a fighter. The fighter is OP. It's broken. We're gonna start with level 1 and we're gonna move on all the way until we hit level 21 where we are at. So pretty much the reason why this class is so freaking OP is because of this one perk in particular, which will let you use any weapon in the game. And if you get to use this weapon in combination of a buckler or a lantern shield with the rondelle, on top of that, you get the best weapon, the long-range weapon, which is survivable, which is a little, literal machine gun in any close quarter fighter, which will let you control the fight from the beginning to the end, and even if you end up messing up, you can always switch to survivable and absolutely shred players. But the thing is, my build is so freaking strong that it doesn't matter what people are gonna do, they're just gonna get obliterated. So pretty much, the in this patch, the physical damage reduction went up drastically and right now in order to hit 60% physical damage reduction it takes little to no effort all you need to do is to, you gotta use this skill which is taunt which gonna increase your physical damage reduction by 10% which is absolutely freaking massive which gonna put you at 75% physical damage reduction so you need to understand when you have 131 health when you have a decent um weapon and shield which gonna increase your armor and which gonna increase gives you additional health let's say we're gonna be at 140 health in game with 140 health and 75% um, physical damage reduction the amount of damage it would took to kill us would be um, close to 700 so even though we will have 131 health the amount of effective health we're gonna have in the game would be equivalent to 700 which is freaking ridiculous on top of that people are kept telling me that the reason why fighter isn't so good is because the move speed got nerfed now question mark where the fuck do you see that the move speed got nerfed i'm wearing the full plate every single piece is plate 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 heavy fucking gauntlets and on top of that we have a armament and i have 296 move speed and the reason was very simple is because you can build this class to be actually very agile in order to do this all you need to do is you gotta use the right perks which we gonna use in today's video which is swift Swift reduced the armor penalty, the armor move speed penalty by 20%, which is freaking a lot. And if you put the whole kit, the whole play kit with this perk and with a good pair of boots, which I have a very mediocre boots that I bought on market for 400 gold, basically I am at the almost 300 move speed. And don't get me wrong, I could find a better quality ring and uh, use it instead of the ring of finis which I have, which offers me a good amount of action speed. I could use the um, ring of uh, quickness which will give me which could put me at 300 move speed at ease this fighter build is arguably the strongest build there is in the game and it will counter any physical um, damage such as bards such as barbs such as other fighters when you see a fighter with the um, falchion or with the arming sword you don't need to be scared of him when you have a rondo because you simply will be able to do way more damage than any of those classes. So in today's video, we're going to play with combination of a buckler and we're going to play with the lantern shield. Now, previously, initially, I planned to play with the buckler this whole video, but midway, I was able to find this beautiful masterpiece. This is a perfect freaking lantern shield that I've ever seen. And I, I freaking enjoyed playing with it so much that I ended up, that I ended up actually sticking to it. So yeah, basically we're gonna hop in, we're gonna play in normals, we're gonna be at level 1 and we're gonna move on all the way to the two level 20. You're not allowed to play in the goblin caves until you hit level 20, that's why we're not going to play a high roller, we're going to play in the normals. I was told a number of times that in the normals that's where all the geared players are, and even though that we may encounter someone who isn't very geared, 
don't get me wrong, um, basically we're not just gonna kill Timis, we're gonna practice with playing with this build and also we're gonna teach Timis, you know, it's not the team slaughter like um, people could say, it's we're gonna teach them a lesson and that's basically what we're gonna do. Also we're gonna teach ourselves a lesson because well, I haven't played in a fighter in quite a while and basically that's going to be a quite a new experience to me as well. But don't get me wrong, even though that I'm absolute bot at playing a fighter, this class is absolutely freaking brutal and it's really damn good. And that's why we're going to play on this absolute broken Astir class slash build and that's what we have in today's video. So anyway, let's hop in the game and let's go clap some cheeks. Now, keep in mind, at first we're going to start with the buckler. And then the moment I found the Lantern Shield, we're gonna switch to the Lantern Shield. And Lantern Shield, oh boy, let me tell you about it. L let me tell you something, let me tell you something. <laughs> it's uh, such a good freaking shield. Anyway, let's go into the game and let's go clap some chicks. Oh yeah, there's one thing that I forgot to mention. The current build that we're gonna run is gonna be the combination of Weapon Mastery with the Swift, with the Defense Mastery for additional armor, and the Shield Mastery, which will allow us to deflect and which will give you... A little more action speed or on our next attack when we block also we're going to use the second win and we're going to use the town at first we're going to start with sprint but then we're going to move to a town because i realize how broken this skill really is it technically makes you fucking invincible so yeah basically let's go into the video and let's go clap some cheeks all right we're finally in first game like i mentioned level one so pretty much I have a buckler and um, the only perk that I currently have is the weapon mastery. So yeah, for anyone curious, this is what my guy looks like without a helmet. So yeah, some may curious, here we go. <laughs> we do gotta level up ASAP, because as right now we only have weapon mastery and one perk just isn't it. We also have a player to our left, so we need to elaborate for the down and try clap some cheeks. We got a rat! Oh. That's gonna be not easy. Oh, okay. <laughs> that, um, first good PvP encounter. <laughs> Easy. Alright, looks like we have someone here. Someone cleared this area out. Gotta be a little bit careful. Uh, interesting. Oh, okay. Door is open. There's gotta be someone here. Like, oh. Here we go. Yo, that's the only geared fighter, by the way, in the lobby. Like, he has a bunch of good cheese, by the way. Ah. I have very low amount of practice with survival bow. I haven't played with it in, um... In forever, because I'm mating part. But I absolutely love this survival bow. Oh, he's doing some damage. Oh no, the spider mommy took my kill. <laughs> no witnesses oh, no. allowed. <laughs> anyway, that's the second kill that was taken by a mob, bro. Could you imagine? Well, on the bright side, nobody gonna know that I'm in the lobby. <laughs> the spider had a ring that is like six or seven hundred in market. Oh yeah, that's like probably a thousand gold right there. That's good. Just from four pieces alone, you can actually get like almost a thousand gold straight up. Oh, he's a juicer. He got some cheese. So hell yeah. All right, we got down three players. So wait, oh no, no, my bad, bad, bad. Only two so far. But listen. Oh, here we go, we have one more. Usually, usually there's a lot of players in the mid-map, so... Oh, by the way, speaking of, this guy could kill me with three dabs. Um, two fireballs in the zap, and, but he died to his royal bow. He should've been aggressive, he should've run me down with the fireballs if he knew the way he class works. I don't have any magic resistance, he would've cooked me pretty easily. He also have a book, book really helps a lot. Even on a naked fucking wizard, you can still do a lot of damage to PDR fighters that doesn't have any magic resistance. 
gotta be really careful with withers. So that's why your best bet would be to control the distance and shoot them with survival bow. You may say that, oh, but you're geared. I'm kind of geared, but it doesn't change the fact that the game works based on rock, paper, and scissors, in which withered could, you know, is the rock and fighter is scissors. <laughs> But usually it's the other way around, but yeah, the wither do count for fighters. Alright, let's go to extract. I think we're good. Oh wait, we got someone here. <laughs> he's not gonna hear a thing because he's a fucking bard. By the way, they, they nerfed the speed. And you can still continuously stab people to death. <laughs> well, I mean, that's just how this class works. You know, I just gotta be honest. I really want to showcase how OP this class really is with the right build, like that's just what you need to know, you know what I mean? And basically this class with this build is, I'm gonna be honest, this class is extremely fucking brutal, it's very fucking strong class, combine it with the good PDR and you become absolute fucking menace, you, you pretty much invincible to any physical damage, you will stat check anyone who you're gonna come across. You have a range, you have extremely strong close melee, you're fast, you're tanky. This is just a really freaking strong class and I have to share it. I really hope this build will get nerfed because this build straight up pissing me the fuck off. But I do want to showcase how OP this class really is with this build. Alright, so we just finished our first game. We had a total of 4 kills I believe and we got the first perk which is makes our class even stronger now we have um, additional move speed that comes from the swift basically with this perk our build comes together and we become a lot stronger than you know we used to be because now we're just running at almost fucking speed of rogue while having a plate range a lot of damage and fucking strongest melee combat you know all right second game oh shit yo look at the spawn by the way Yo, this is biz. This is the wolf cave. And basically in the wolf cave you can farm wolf pelts. If you check the price on the market, right now they go for around 300 a pop. So basically if you play the ice map and like, you know, play 5 games, get like 6-7 pelts. Usually that's how often they drop. The chances to get a wolf pelt is 5%. And pretty much you will end up getting a lot of cheese. Like collect 6-7 pelts, you will make around 2-3 thousand gold. And 2000 gold is gonna be just about enough to make nearly the same kit that I'm currently running. So pretty much, yeah, little tip and trick, just play a couple maps, I mean, <laughs> ice maps. Like, take a very simple route all the way to the um, uh, west of the map, kill a bunch of wolves and you're good to fucking go. You'll make just about enough to afford a really good kit. That's how a lot of people are making their money, especially in normals, because you can just run here effortlessly, clear up all the wolves. If you want additional gold, take the green items, sell them. Boom. Finita la media, you got extra cheese. Anyway. Ah, oh, man. This guy's a bit annoying. Wait a second, we have someone here. I'm trying to... Ha, <laughs> little toe shot. Bow. Another one. And another one. Missed. Oh. He is a block god. Haha, <laughs> GG. I stopped him in the face a little bit. And nah, let's just do it normal way. We are scared of giants. Haha, <laughs> not with this build. Oh, oh, I gotta figure out how to block this. I barely don't have much experience playing in the ice map. But I do know that, um... It's a really good map to make a lot of gold, especially if you learn it, because you don't encounter too much PvP, you know. Oh yeah, that was actually quite effortless. Alright, let's see what we have in this chest. Sometimes it drops really good stuff. Holy shit, yo! Am I tripping? Yo, look at this shield, holy cow! Armor, max health, physical damage reduction, wow! This is the best fucking shield that I've seen. In fact, I might as well play with it. Holy cow, this piece is absolutely freaking beautiful, I'm gonna be honest. Wow, this chest is some crazy stuff here, bro. Let's try it out. 
Oh, bro, it's beautiful. So easy to use as well. Holy cow. Let's try it again. Bro, it's so nice to use. Sheesh. Yeah, I really like it. I think we have a play here. I heard some steps. Oh, that's the rock right here. One. Miss. Two. Three. Oh. Miss. Oh well. Shouldn't have too much health. Four. Headshot. Ha <laughs> GG. The power of survival ball, baby. Wait a minute. Oh, I missed. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it takes some practice, takes some practice. Maybe a because of lack of action speed, it's a little harder, but overall, it's a beautiful weapon. Oh. Yeah, it does one shot mobs most of the time. Double parry gets the job done. Oh, look, there's a guy here. <laughs> He's spawning his minions. It is okay, though. Can I one shot this thing? Okay, maybe not one shot, but um, seems like it does have some health for sure. Alright, my homie. I'm coming. He's waiting for that freaking static. Oh shit, he just rotted me. He became a chicken! <laughs> okay, one shot. Two shot. Three shot. Little stop. Ha <laughs> GG. It wasn't really much of a fight, but listen. Gotta give him credit, he did his best. He fought me back. He tried to fight back. That's why I gotta respect that. Because there are players who literally are fucking scared to do anything. And those are the players that piss me the fuck off. If you know that the death is inevitable, just go and fight till you die. Do some damage, make me maybe lose in the long run, you know what I mean? Alright, middle map, we got a good spawn as well, that's actually kinda nice. Oh, I'm bad with trouble. Gotta be careful with the wither though, it's like, he has a staff and the staff has additional magical damage. Additional magical damage with a fireball can fuck me up. Bro, I'm missing all my hits, holy fuck. Even a little bit of splash will do a decent chunk of damage to me. Like, look at this. It's not even a direct hit. A direct hit would get me to, like, fucking half health. That's why I'm, like, kind of worried. He's dead. Phew. One less stress to worry about. <laughs> I never fought this guy before on a fighter. Let's see if I could actually block. Okay, I got hit twice. But he hit my limbs, it seems like. Oh, you can actually block that. Ooh. Okay, that's a limb hit. That's another limb hit. Okay, I was able to dodge it somehow. <laughs> yeah, just a couple of limb hits, basically. Barely did any damage. I know, I feel like when you have the PDR, you just feel so fucking confident, especially when it comes to fighting other mobs or pliers. It's like, really makes your life freaking easy. Even though I could make a build that would be similar to this, on a barb with lots of effective pals. I never felt as confident as playing on a um, fighter. By the way, we have someone here. It's just like... Fighter makes you so f fucking OP. You know what I mean? And you just like roll through dungeon, you know? It's really freaking good class. And the thing is, the current kit that I have, it's not even that good. It's pretty decent. But it's not good, you know. But, uh... <laughs> just because I have the basic kit, the basic original items, it's already make me broken. Basically, if you put the exact same items as I have, you're gonna have a very similar stats as I, with a sole difference of maybe 10 health and like 5 or 6 move speed or something like this. Alright, Goblin Caves we go. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find anyone in the last game, so hopefully I'd get to kill some players in the Goblins. Oh, we have someone. He's not gonna see that coming. <laughs> I'm missing my hits, bro! 
Holy fuck, he owned me. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Well, I mean, listen. That's a good practice, because I have a very little amount of practice playing on a rogue and uh, with a rondo. By the way, I have my third perk in the last game. I was able to get another one. And the current perk that I'm going to run is going to be the armor master, which is going to give me another 6% of armor because it offers me 10% flat. And basically that 10 flat percent just um, adds up a whole bunch of uh, physical damage reduction, which feels really nice. I'm going to be honest. I'm just like one step closer to invincibility. <laughs> Oh no, brother. Yo, he smacked me pretty hard. Sheesh. That was such a nice hit, brother. Wow. It did a lot of damage. A lot of damage than I would think. Holy cow. The guy is a menace. Sheesh. Usually, if you can't find anyone, go to the troll's room. That's where all the action really is. Oh, that's the geared guy, by the way. Looks like he's fighting someone. Something odd right here. We have a guy right below as well. Wait a second. Oh. <laughs> what is the plan, brother? <laughs> oh no, he said oh right before he died. Well, no witnesses allowed. <laughs> I'm sorry, brother. Oh, we got some flowers. Perfect for the funeral of this guy. Oh, no, it just dropped. Let me pick that up. Sorry, brother. I'm running the broken belt. Listen, I mean, what could people really do about this? <laughs> just a broken belt. There's nothing could be done, brother. I'm so sorry. All right. Gotta find that fighter. Wait a minute. What the frick is that? I think we found him. <laughs> he died from cringe. Oh, I'm dying from cringe as well. Bro, how could I mess up that fucking jump? Unbelievable garbage. <laughs> I got this. Right, it's like, you know what they say, third time a charm. Maybe this time I'll make it. Oh yeah, that's them. That's the guy. The exert and physical power. Not bad, not bad. Alright, let's go extract because... No shot, bro. There was still someone in the lobby. Are you fucking kidding me? Yo, he also was geared. 130 health fighter. Oh my god, bro. That would be such a nice fight with him. Oh well, GG. Let's go next. We got level 13 though. Good thing we got a goblin caves. Eh, that would be pretty nice to be level 15, but oh well, we gotta play a couple more games to get our last perk. I'm not sure which last perk I'm gonna use though, but probably maybe shield mastery. I definitely wanna test that out. A little more actions when you block. But there's one thing that I notice is when people are playing with the... Um, uh, with the lantern shield and the um, shield mastery, the attack is so freaking fast that makes it completely freaking uncomfortable. So maybe the shield mastery isn't the play here. But we gotta test it out and we gotta see how good that's gonna be. Anyway. Oh, bro, I love this so much. There's nothing more saying. Oh, wait a sec. Hello? Hello? Are you gonna attack me? Hello? Hello? Um, what the fuck? He was like what the crazy. What he was, guy was like, holy, like holy cow, that's insane. Oh well. I haven't seen anyone like so crazy in so long. I think the guy took his mom's MacBook, fucking went to a kitchen, tried to connect to Wi Fi, lagged out in his first raid. GG. <laughs> Sorry, brother. GG, it was a good fight. Yo, there is steps. What the fuck is that? That's a cleric or fighter? Let's go check it out. If it's a cleric, that would suck. I don't like fighting clerics. But I have a robo, so it's not a big deal. And also my class is super fucking fast because obviously fighter isn't broken. Mm, you know, it's like PDR fighter with a lot of health, with a lot of armor. Definitely not broken. I want to parry him. Could he? He doesn't want to attack me. Parry me, brother. Oh, okay. Another time. Oh! oh! Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for! That's what it's all about! Woo! <laughs> My first parry, brother! Let's fucking go! This is what I'm talking about!
Hell yeah! Ooh, baby, this is what I've been waiting for. This is what it's all about. <laughs> Sorry, might not be the most accurate, most critical impression, <laughs> but I tried. What do we have here? Wait a second. I saw some shadow. Wait a second. Hold on a minute. We have a guy right fucking here. He's just chilling. No shot. That was a headshot. Are you fucking serious? Holy fuck, right in the head. Jesus Christ, man. Wow, jeez, holy fuck. I think he's, he's, I think he thinks that I'm hacking. Wow, that's insane. By the way, did I tell you that the fighter is a better ranger just based on the fucking survival boat that you get to have? Well, if I haven't told you, here we go. The fucking fighter is a better ranger, trust me. The survival boat just fucking slept. Oh, wait a second, we have someone here. Oh, is it a fighter? Or ranger. This is a ranger, by the way. Or a fighter. No, this is definitely a fucking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, listen, I gotta parry, I gotta parry. Oh! Okay, right in the face. Ooh. That was nice. Haha. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, red in the face, by the way. One more hit. I could absolutely destroy him with a survival ball, but let's give him some form of a challenge. Let's fight him in a melee fight. Okay, one little stub. I got hit, bro. Oh. <laughs> he faced the wall. There is nothing could be done. By Napoleon. GG. <laughs> Yo, there's so much PvP in normals, holy cow, I'm in love with this, I probably should play more Goblin Caves. What is he doing? Hello? Maybe you wanna fight me? Hello? Oh, I fucking suck dick. Bro, I suck plenty of dick. Just based on this one encounter, I absolutely fucking suck. That was right in the face, by the way. I did it. <laughs> Listen, if the person isn't being offensive, like, it's actually quite hard to utilize the lantern shield. You'd rather fucking stick to your main weapon. But if someone is being offensive, the lantern shield could really be freaking handy. Seems like there's one Giga Chad with the longbow. I wish I could find him. But um, as for now, we have a little fighter. You gotta help him a little bit. Seems like he's not feeling it. Huh? He tried to hide behind the block behind the stone hmm fight me brother hello well he didn't want to fight me but i did <laughs> he didn't say nothing if he would say anything voice sure but i mean listen if you don't talk in game well i mean there is no incentive for me to let you leave say a phrase that you want to leave. Hashtag, I don't want to die. Let me go. And basically, you're going to be just fine. Oh, well, I tried to look for players, but apparently I was the last person. So, spent five minutes trying to find anyone. At least I got some kills. That was pretty good time. All right, into the ice caverns we go. We have someone here. Bow and bow competition. I got stuck, bro. Fuck. Can't miss a single shot, bro. Holy cow. Wow. I'm actually horrible with this. Fucking serious. I actually hit him twice, so I guess that's fine.
Bro, he's tanky as hell, holy cow. Has 20 arrows in his butt. Two knives and an axe. Still fucking moving around. Well. GG, I guess. <laughs> he tried to put a trap. That almost worked out, brother. Maybe he had a perk to instantly um, insult traps, and if that's the case, he probably had a plan in mind. GG. Someone just used devotion or something? What the fuck? How do you turn the um, light up? What is the... Oh, here we go. Where the fuck is he? Is it a rat or something? Oh, shit! Holy fuck! Where I gotta try a parry. They won't satisfy me until I parry. Alright. <laughs> that will do. That will do just fine. Bro, this looks so sick. Holy cow. Oh, we have a guy. Nope. Now mess around this time. Full focus. Miss. Missed again. I'm horrible. I'm actually bad at this game. <laughs> well, I mean... Oh no, right in his neck. He didn't like it, that's for sure. Alright, into the goblin caves we go. Ooh, we have a plate guy. PDR versus PDR fight. What? Wait, it doesn't work. My shit doesn't work. Why? Is it because of the shield master or something? Huh? Yes! Fuck yeah! <laughs> Bro, why can I not fucking parry with this garbage, man? Like... <laughs> Oh, bro, let's fucking go. I'm so happy. Oh. Oh. Well, I mean, sometimes it's gonna be like that. I didn't thought he would die, but, um... Oh, shit, he's actually geared. Wow. There's a lot of good stuff. I could use that. I saw something here. Emerged in the darkness. Oh! I stumbled across something. Actually takes some effort. He doesn't want to hit me, bro. <laughs> well, what could you do about the most broken build and dark and darker? I don't think you can really do much about it. I feel like we could conclude the video with this. We killed so many people and we ended up at level 21. The amount of gear and amount of cheese we ended up getting at the end of the day is actually quite ridiculous. We probably made enough gold to buy another two exact same kits like currently running and basically we did it pretty fast. We played total of 8 games and I'm giving you honest, I had a lot of fun. So even though I was playing normals and I was mainly focused on PvP, I still made quite a good chunk of gold and I had, most importantly, a lot of fun. I feel like we could say that this build is arguably the most broken pile of dog shit in the game. It takes no skill, no effort, you're gonna win most of your encounters. I highly disencourage you to play this class and this build because it's way too overpowered, it's like... It takes no effort, no skill, and basically the more you're gonna play with this build, the worse you're gonna get. I made this video for the sole purpose to inform you how stupidly overpowered this build really is, and I'm not gonna play this build further, because this f build is just so fucking broken that it doesn't even feel rewarding to win, because you just do, you simply can't die, no matter who you're gonna encounter. And yeah, this class is really freaking OP, and um... Think twice before you want to get into it because, you know, you're gonna progressively get worse at this game the more you play with this build. Anyway, we could conclude the video and I could say that, um... Anyway, don't play with this build, it's demo. Subscribe if you want to see more fighter and rogue and a little bit of fire content. I hope you enjoy my content, it's demo, and I hope you have a wonderful day.
Wow. That is way too many mobs. Oh, no, no, no. The death beetles are scary. The death beetles are scary. 